So you're trying to figure out the three hidden marketing lessons you missed in Squid Game? Well, pay close attention because we about to jump right into it. All right, so the first marketing lesson we're going to talk about actually happened early on in the show. So in the beginning of the show, we find out that the main character is strapped for cash and he's deep in debt. And then as we continue to go throughout the rest of the show, we see that everybody who ended up playing this game actually was in a bad financial situation. And so what does that create? That creates desperation. And so the people who created this game, they actually made sure they spoke to the needs, the desires, and the pains of those people. This is very, very powerful when we're trying to do like, you know, affiliate marketing. We have to identify who it is that we want to attract and why is that important so that we can create marketing or content that's actually going to attract those right type of people. That's marketing lesson number one. So the next marketing lesson we're going to talk about happens in the train station. So at the train station, the main character, he's pretty much sitting there and this guy in the suit walks up and in short words, he pretty much says to him, hey, do you want to play a game? And if you win this game, I'll pay you 100,000 won. So 100,000 won in US is actually only $80, but for them, it would be more beneficial, especially since they did their, their research on finding out the needs, the desires, and the pains of all their people, which was the first marketing lesson we talked about. So with them understanding the type of person that they're dealing with, now it makes their marketing easy, which is what we're leading into now. They have to create interest and build trust. Now, the way that they do this is they tell, they, he tells the guy, hey, I'm going to pay you 100,000 won right now. So now the guy has to make a decision. It's either I'm going to take, I'm going to play this game and make this money, or I'm not going to play the game. But of course, since he's in a desperate state, he ends up playing a game. Now the guy ends up winning, right? He ends up winning and the guy literally pays him the uh, 100,000 won. So now what did that do? That built trust. Okay, so they created interest by letting them play a game for free and then that built trust. Now, how does that correlate over to affiliate marketing? Well, when we identify our target market, we go ahead and we create content that's specific to those type of people to, so they can find out what it is that they're looking for. And then what do we do? We give them away something for free. So hopefully you're starting to see the correlation here. The game, the mini game that they let them play, they didn't charge them to play the game, right? Since they didn't charge them to play the game, that's like their lead magnet that they're giving away so that they can build trust. So when affiliate marketing, when we give away a lead magnet and, you know, let's say, let's say, for instance, we get them to a training on the other side of a capture page, they get value from that uh, training. Now there's a certain amount of trust that's built if you actually deliver on what's on the capture page. All right. So the next marketing lesson comes from the exact same scene. So pretty much after he lets him play the game for free, he pays them the money, which, which is where he built the trust. Now he says, Hey, if you want to, you know, if you want to play more games like this, so you can make more money, then go ahead and give me a call. So he gives him a card. Now at that point, the main character has a decision to make. Am I actually going to do this or am I not? So how does this correlate to affiliate marketing? Well, first and foremost, when you get somebody on your list, if you deliver on whatever that freebie was, then now you built the trust in the same way, but then now you're going to have to go through email marketing, right? You're going to have to send them not only like sales pitches, but you're going to have to give them some more free stuff, provide them with some value, have them jump on a few Zoom calls. Uh, and then eventually you're going to make an offer to them, right? But in this case, in the movie, of course, they're not doing affiliate marketing, but they gave a call to action and that person has to act. So in the same way, when somebody's going and they're receiving your emails, they're eventually going to have to take action. But in this case, the, the guy gives them a call and then the, the, the person who's desperate, remember that, he pretty much eventually just says, all right, I'm just going to go play this game. So that was the decision that was made. So think about, you know, these lessons that I talked about with you here today and start to apply those inside of your business to really start to really get those results that you're looking for. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want my number one recommended way to get more visibility for your business, go ahead and click that first link down below in the description. That's going to be a free training I put together so you can start to implement some of the strategies that I personally use to grow my business. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.